Strasslith has finished the forest roar. So I guess we will now go for swinging bows. The extra weapon strength. Dulas. Very tempted to get him sword player as well so we can engage him in melee. But I guess instead what we'll do is give him more ammunition. Because he doesn't actually have that many shots, does he? He actually ran out of ammunition in one of the battles I had. This enchant. Okay. I think Isra Tot can sort of move forwards. I really kind of want to attack Elbrick de Bordelo in this settlement. Pretty weak garrison. I feel like we could crush him. Oh, this garrison's nothing, so it's just the main army, and again, a lot of it's horsemen. I feel like we can quick save this and fight it on the battle map. This wouldn't be another, you know, battle that we do with the bowmen, and then we just raise the settlement, run away. <laughs> and we'll keep doing that until they run out of armies, and then we can just take over all of their settlements. Lovely. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it today. I am 4 hours and 43 minutes into this stream. And we will be continuing for another hour or so. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. And for those of you watching on the VODs, thanks for watching of course. We will stick with the 15 wins. Oh, I didn't mean to start the battle straight away. I guess we're going. <laughs> we will get all of our units to run up. Similar thing to before. Although I might, you know, have my birds stay behind, although hmm, maybe we should just have them fly over the fly overhead. Forward. I'm a waste orc is gonna stay in the middle. Glade just so on. that these guys have the extra missile damage or whatever bonuses we give them Awaiting from orcs. our waste orca. I've no idea. By the way, I'm just getting over the walls to avoid the towers. What we're doing. What's that unit that's lining up back there? Like, what are those units? I don't know. By the way, we're chewing up the peasant bowmen quite nicely. And once we secure the walls, that'll be very nice indeed. Avengers says running out of armies are very hard difficulty. Uh, I know, right? Bretonians will never run out of armies. <laughs> but still, gives us people to kill, gives us post battle loot. It's not all bad. Alright, with us getting our units onto the walls here and massacring most of the bowmen, um, what I'm likely to do is. Maybe just climb up the walls like I did before. I think that was a good idea. Soon, lads. Soon. 
Right, now that most of the archers are gone, we can bring our eagles back. And help these engagements on the walls. So like these men at arms coming up here. We can definitely charge into those. Make sure our infantry here is going for those engagements as well. I always find the Bretonian forces so silly to look at. They look so wimpish compared to like Eternal Guard and stuff. Right. My dude has uh, broken down the gate. Are there any units on the walls that are clumped up that we could probably blow up? I think here maybe? Uh, here would be a good idea. Uh, the eagle landed on the ground. It's not what we want. We want him to get out of there. Here we go. Play guard. Getting up on the walls. I'm going to have these guys actually engage Spim in his arms here. Right, let's target the mounted yeoman archers with the hawk riders. Just to kill them off the best we can. And have all of these turn off their skirmish and turn on guard mode. And um, we're going to go for those positions that we had set up before. Nice. Looking cool. Archers ready. Steady. All right then, let the massacre commence. I just find this so silly. It's like how these Cavalry just sort of sit here and take it. You can't get them off their horses. The big feature that's missing from this game, I think, is like the fact that you can't dismount. Big feature that sort of misses is missed from a lot of Total War games, honestly. You can't dismount. I guess it's because it's got to stay true to like the tabletop in the sense that the Knights Errant and, and Knights of the Realm don't dismount <laughs> on the tabletop game. But at the same time, this is just stupid. And I don't want to deny the cheese for myself. But uh, yeah, like I said, it's rather silly. All the free kills. Pretty much using up all of our ammunition here. <laughs> this is just crazy. There's Knight's Errant. 
gonna be killed off I assume very shortly taking a lot of damage some of those units being killed off entirely but squires trying to stand their ground here but I don't think they're gonna be lasting very long We can probably get some of these archers to come off the walls now. Uh, same with all of these infantry. We should probably be using the lifeblood here just to heal some of these units up. And then we can go ahead and use the Awakening of the Wood onto those men down there. That's good. And those Knights Errant trying to charge me down, but currently being hit by... <laughs> Yeah, currently being hit by archers while the archers are on the move, which is awesome. I will. You fear death, human. Well, that was a very nice awakening of the wood. This is a very low cooldown. I'm pretty sure my eternal guard are getting killed faster by friendly fire than anything else. I'll break the board low, trying to get out of there. All of these plague guard without ammunition. I guess we could have them charge forwards. <laughs> it might be quite funny to do that. I'm gonna get both of the eagles to start fighting Albrick though. Alright, that's the when the times of pole arms gone there. One of our eternal guard did just get absolutely blitzed. Glade guard, eager and ready. And we're just going to do an attack, move forwards with the clay guard here. Currently, Albrick fighting off my eagles. Arms there being forced to fall back. Nice. Let's go get rid of those peasant mob. Eagles are still doing okay. We'll probably need to give them some lifeblood though. We'll do that. And with all of our ammunition used, we may as well just have everything running towards the center. Right, my way watcher. He can maybe try and get some shots onto Albrick. We're pretty damn close to victory now. One of my glade guard getting pretty low on health. But if we start sur surrounding the knights of the realm, then we should be okay. I think just Albrick keeping the hopes of his men alive at the moment. Even though we have pretty much already won. Yep, that's it. 
good stuff. Oh, we'll just lifeblood at the end here. Speed that up. And job done. Close victory. Not sure if those Eternal Guard will still be alive. I feel like we've lost them. That's okay, we can just hire in Dryads instead. That gets rid of Albrecht de Bordelot. That's quite a significant battle, actually. Uh, we might as well seed it, because we are going to be here for one turn. And it's not worth anything. And that will also allow us to gain the replenishment that we want. Because no army is really going to be in range to attack us. So that's nice. Let's go for the Call of the Woods here. We'll get the Forest Roar underway with Isra Trot. Or Isra Tot. Balzanville has finished the Temple of Isha, which will help with our replenishment. We'll upgrade both of these buildings. Nice. That's everything done. We might lose Doc Karaz to so. Gomrund Ranulfsson. But uh, we've definitely taken Clan Angren down a notch or two. We go to strength rank. Clan Angren is 26th. We are currently strength rank 7. That's quite nice. Greenskins like us a lot at the moment. Not in. Speak quick, cause you caught me in a Would they give me room. some money? No. Shields That's sad. Athel, Lauren. You may speak your honeyed words. I think it's one more turn until we can get another confederation. Cool. We'll try that next turn. Yeah, the power strength bar just just decreased so much recently. Thought I'd have trouble with the amount of armies they had, but they definitely just threw a lot of it away. Hmm. I don't think this is going to work out. I'm just going to auto resolve it. Oh, they only sacked it? Okay. Now that army is in March stance. If Dirthu is in range, we can likely kill it. Mon four has been reinforced. So what I might do is maybe destroy Bordelow. We could go up to Montfort, take that out, move on to Castle Baston, destroy that. Because that would take out those Bretonians, who would also give us a route through to trade with the Empire. Nothing much else happening at the end turns. We could just fast forward it, but it doesn't look like we need to. If we if we can't see the actual nations, then it doesn't really matter. Okay, 
Okay, so our loot lords are ready for duty. I think we're good to go and destroy Kadri Gunrixen as well. Player Sorrow doesn't really have that much of a decent army. Let's just get Strasleith to go and attack that. We shall encircle. Strasleith on its own massacre those dwarves. But we're going to keep Zerko nearby and make sure that happens. Alright. I kind of want to play this out on the battle map. Let's give the charge bonus to the Wild Riders. We'll quick save it and fight it on the battle map. A good old slaughter of dwarves. This should be fun. These Glade Guard are getting very strong. Like, the more that they increase in unit rank, the more damage they're going to do. Well, not necessarily damage, but the more likely they are to hit, they get more melee attack. Currently on 37 melee attack and, and 45 melee defense with these Glade Guard. That's very close to Shades right now. It's pretty nuts. Even these tree can have 30 melee attack now. Let's gamble for more wins. Okay. Start the battle. I'm going to just about move into range here. I'm not quite sure that's close enough. But we're just going to group these guys. Put an attack move forwards. Group these guys. Attack move forwards. Get the wild riders to push around the flanks. Okay. Let's wander on. Put them into a group and just have them attack forwards. Nice. I don't think these Glade Guard are in range, no. They need to be quite a bit farther forwards. I'm gonna have to make sure that my Wildwood or wild riders hit the mark onto these bolt throwers. Melee engagement are carrying at the front. That's good. If we move a bit further forwards here, we can take off skirmish but on guard. Let's go ahead and charge these guys down. We also should be charging down the great weapons. And with this setup, what I can do is like just pause it a sec and target each one of these range units individually. We did actually manage to catch one in melee, which is good. I'm still going to aim at it. And with these ones, we need to do the same. And we also need to get some of this magic down. So we'll go Awakening of the Wood. Like here. That should help. I would also like the mass healing there. Yeah, 
get an awakening of the wood down the bottom side. This guy, he needs to get in the melee as well. This will be an absolute massacre, I'll tell you guys that much. Be sure you guys can start to see that happening. I need to get these wild riders out of here. They've done a lot of damage to us, but it's not going to be enough to start to crush the remaining units. It's going to be a chain route very shortly. Running them down all over the place. Yeah, this is crazy. Look at this army. <laughs> Our wild riders are struggling a bit in melee, so might just get them out of there. Keep them to one side. leaders to start attacking Kadri Gundrickson and hopefully that will cause them to lose their morale. Get the magic down there, nice. And these Treekin should still be engaging. These Glade Guard should also be firing away, which is what they are. Kadri uh, Gundrickson here is a rune lord and he's going to take a hell of a long time to kill, I feel. He does have the anvil, who's a decently sized target. But one of my dryads there being broken down, only a few men. There we go. Chain round. What we like to see. So we will end it there. Decisive victory. But we don't want to save the replay. Nice. So maybe lost a few more units than we needed to, but those wild riders picked up a hell of a lot of kills. 149 and 141. One of the dryads got pretty low for no reason. That kind of sucks. But with the replenishment that we have available, that shouldn't actually be too much of a problem. So we may as well sack it and seed it. And that's going to complete the mission for us. Even though that mission isn't anything special. 500 gold. Woo! <laughs> Let's just build the waystone here. We'll go take Karakate Peaks next. And what about Durthu? I'm going to march him into Dr. Raz. Maybe we can intercept Cobalt 
nor Grimling. He does have the three units of Iron Drakes, but I'm a lot less scared of these gyrocopters now. Although with Durthu's army, we don't actually have any Hawk Riders. 